Superhero movies, aside from Spider-Man No Way Home, aren't doing so well. I want to take a look at two that are coming up on today's show. It's called the Scarab. I had no idea it would activate. It has to choose you. We're a team. Oh, no, 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 we're not a team. We're not a team. <gasps> Let's examine two superhero movies that are coming up and why I think they will flop. The Marvels and Blue Beetle, one Marvel and one DC. Since the Blue Beetle is coming out first, let's discuss this one. One reason I think it will flop is simply looking at the state of DC-based movies that have come out recently. Black Adam way underperformed it eked out 168 million domestically with a total worldwide gross of 393 million dollars. Pretty bad, eh? Well Shazam Fury of the Gods came next and did far worse with only 57 million dollars domestic and 133 million worldwide. Then came the overhyped Flash movie which sank quicker than the Titanic and gave us 105 million domestic with a worldwide total of 262 million dollars. That leaves us with two more DC movies coming out this year, the Aquaman sequel and Blue Beetle. First let's look at the history of Blue Beetle, going all the way back to 1939. The original Blue Beetle was created by Charles Nicholas Wojcicki and Fox Comics, and later owned by Charlton Comics. The first Beetle was Dan Garrett, who initially gained superpowers from a special vitamin, which was later changed to gaining powers from a sacred scarab. The original Blue Beetle was featured in not only his own comic, but also a weekly radio serial. The mysterious, all-powerful character was a problem to the police. A crusader for law. In reality, Dan Garrett, a rookie patrolman, loved by everyone but suspected by none of being the Blue Beetle. The second Blue Beetle, created by Charlton and later taken over by DC Comics, was the successor to Dan Garrett known as Ted Kord. Kord jumped to the DC Comics universe during the crisis on Infinite Earths alongside a number of other Charlton Comics characters. The second Blue Beetle later starred in his own 24-issue comic. Kord never had any superpowers but used science to create various devices to help him fight crime. He became a member of the Justice League of America and was later killed during the prelude to DC Comics' Infinite Crisis crossover. The third Blue Beetle, created by DC Comics, is Jamie Reyes, a teenager who discovers that the original Blue Beetle scarab morphs into a battle suit allowing him to fight crime and travel in space. Over the years, Reyes became a member of the Teen Titans and starred in two Blue Beetle comic series. In DC Comics 2011 New 52 reboot, Jamie Reyes was the primary Blue Beetle character, only occasionally referring to past versions. With the subsequent continuity revision DC Rebirth, the previous versions were restored. Why do I think the Blue Beetle will flop? There are two reasons that I think DC movies are flopping. The first is because fans are not happy with how Warner Brothers treated Zack Snyder. The DC movies that Snyder was involved with didn't flop. They may not have done the money that Marvel-based movies did, but Marvel and DC are two different animals. Sure, there are fans who enjoy reading both, but overall, Marvel readers aren't into DC and DC readers aren't into Marvel comics, at least readers who do read both would prefer one over the other and for DC to try to emulate what Marvel does, as we have seen, isn't going to work. Marvel movies made more money because they have a larger audience overall. Also, these movies are flopping because they already announced a relaunch of the DCEU into the DCU. They should have waited to announce that until after these movies came out. Fans aren't going to be invested in these characters since they are going to be rebooted. As a result, the only DC-based movie that has succeeded since the announcement is the Robert Pattinson Batman, which isn't related to the DCEU or the DCU. Then we come to the Marvels. How could the sequel flop when the original made so much money? That's easy. Captain Marvel was sandwiched between two Avengers movies and the hype was that you had to see Captain Marvel before you see Endgame. This turned out to not be true, if you haven't seen Captain Marvel, you will still know everything you need to know about the Avengers movies. The fans were duped and I don't think they like it too much. Plus the fact that Marvel's Phase 4 was a mixed bag, with only three of seven movies turning a profit and one breaking even. The launch of Phase 5 was a disaster as Ant-Man and the Wasp completely tanked at the box office. The release date for the Marvels was pushed back as they have done countless reshoots to try and get the movie to make sense. In viewing the trailer, I get no idea of what the story is about. It looks like we'll get a scene of how Monica Rambeau will become a Marvel, but the rest of the trailer looks like a sorority house misfire and there's no sense of structure, no hint of a villain and no real coherent narrative. It is one of the worst trailers I've ever seen for a superhero movie. The first three phases were solid adaptations of Marvel-based comics and heroes, but they have since lost their way. They have race-swapped and gender-swapped characters so that they become unrecognizable. 
when the movies fail. The directors and producers blame the fans of said characters, calling them racists and sexists. All we want is reasonable interpretations of the characters we know and love. Attacking fans of these movies and franchises isn't going to improve your box office. You need to return to the original focus of quality storytelling and believable versions of the characters. Those are my thoughts on why I think the two upcoming superhero movies will flop at the box office. What do you think? Do you agree with my thoughts? Let me know your thoughts on these upcoming movies in the comments below. If you like what you heard share this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my Carl Vincent Vampire Hunter franchise also in the comments. Until next time, this is Andrew in for Kevin Gibbon saying live long and prosper, may the force be with you, and keep reaching for the stars.